Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the sea, they tell Don checking in, and you're watching Throwback Thursdays. What more can I say? I wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't pave your way. What more can I Welcome everybody to the first episode of Throwback Thursdays. I hope everybody enjoys the series. Now a little bit of rundown on the jersey we're gonna be unboxing on this episode. Um, as many of y'all know, I'm a big minor league fan, just as much as I am as a major league fan. I love collecting throwbacks since I probably started on a regular basis back in 2003, but I had some throwbacks before that. So, I've been wanting this one for a long time. They kept procrastinating, and when I would think about getting it, they always were out of stock. So, I finally was able to pick one up. Um, a little bit of rundown of the history on this. Uh, this team was skyrocketed into households all across the U.S. Um, due to a movie that they were featured in. Uh, they were a minor league affiliate of the Atlanta Braves from 1980 to 1997. Then uh, in 1988, they had a movie come out called Bull Durham featuring Kevin Costner, and the team that was featured in the movie was the Durham Bulls, which were, at the time, a single-A affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. Uh, they parted ways in 1997, and they now belong to the Tampa Rays, and they're now a triple-A affiliate in the minor leagues instead of a single-A like they were when they belonged to the Braves. With no further ado, let's get into it. Pick this up directly from the Durham Bulls team store online. When I got home, this package was on my doorstep, pouring down rain box is all like saturated. I don't know if the camera can really pick it up, but uh, it looks pretty rough. I hope the jersey did not get messed up sitting out in the rain. Oh, thank goodness. They put it in a bag. from the Durham Bulls official store. The jersey cost $59.99 and they charge you $9.95 shipping so it came out to $69.94. Shipped it in a Durham Bulls bag, pretty cool. Like I said, I've been wanting this jersey for a long time. Check this bad boy out. Now this is a throwback classic. The current um, Durham Bulls jerseys they wear on a regular basis do not look like this. But they sell this you know, due to the popularity of the movie. Um, Bull Durham and everything. So I had to get it. Especially with its, you know, ties back to the Atlanta Braves since you know the Braves are my favorite team it's made by OT Sports I got size XL still has the tag on it logos done in double tackle twill we got blue and black with some uh, like kind of like a rustic orange type threading and white threading act for the accents it's got the OT Sports tagging down there. I did not, you could pay an extra fee and get your name and number put on the back, but since I don't have access to just go to the store when I wanted to, because they are based in North Carolina, I didn't know if they if it was gonna be a screen printed name and number or, um, or like heat press numbers, because I, I would want the double tackle twill if, if that's what they originally used on on the jersey 
instead of you know something you know more generic so i left it blank i'm going to do my research and find out what font they use on the jersey in the movie so i can customize it later on but very very happy to add this to the collection and if you follow my fit of fiend series i recently picked up from hat club the durham bulls throwback hat to go with the jersey so very happy to add this to the collection and for y'all that didn't see the fitted fiend series this looks pretty much like the ones they currently wear um, for the durham bulls with exception they got the new era logo done in blue on the side to make it blend in because back then they didn't have logos on the side and they also don't have any MILB logos on the back because they didn't do that back then and it does have a green underbill on it which we won't show you that since we're filming in front of a green screen but uh, I'll put the link down below if anyone interested in getting the jersey or the hat uh, please give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe down below if you haven't already till next time it's your boy infamous C the ATL Don signing out peace In the trap on the block on my vest and my clock I'm that thug for my land I'm still ballin' like Pac If my seed be my name Then just trim my claim to fame Mafioso be the clip That's gonna 